right, so it's been a while since we did a fight with Anthony Rumble Johnson. And I am in the mood today, man. I'm in the mood to, to run it with Rumble. See what we can do. We are in the light heavyweight division and the, the heavyweight divisions right now. So he is in both weight classes. I mean, you guys know how much time it can take to find the uh, the fight that you want. So anytime I get a weight class where the fighter I'm trying to use is in both weight classes, uh, it's always a good time. It's always a very good time. Like when I get, um, like when you get featherweight and lightweight, and you've got uh, Max Holloway in both weight classes and Dustin Poirier in both weight classes, it's it's a TK Rask. Man is in division 20. I beat him before. See if we can do it again. He's using Israel. Mobola G I did Sonya. Let's see. I'm ready. Yeah, everyone's trying to use Israel now, and then everyone's trying to be, everyone's trying to be super technical with Izzy these days. So I'm just gonna take it easy with him. Just take it easy. Yeah, you you can see he's trying to, he's trying to really mimic Izzy right here, right away. Flying knee. Spins. All right. Let me see if I can pull out. EA Sport UFC 3 Marshall here. <laughs> With those teeps to the body. He catches it. That's typically my way of like frustrating players that want to hang back all day long. Cuz kind of, you know, like you hit them with that front, with that front kick to the body enough times pisses them off and they start wanting to move forward. Look at these fakes he's doing. Nice fakes. Nice fakes. Not bad. Using the uh, stiff arm retreat. Nice. Another one. I'm going to keep hitting, hitting him with these until he A, starts to sidestep them or starts to really catch them. In the, meantime, in the meantime, he's wide open for it. Right kick. Mm hmm Then with the cross. Another one. Ah, thought that was going to combo better, but it didn't. Nice. Hit him again with it. Almost. Nice. With Rumble too, like, especially when you're facing someone like this, like, I think the biggest thing you'd have to worry about is gassing, you know, just getting tired. That kick. He keeps checking my leg kicks though, which is not good. Nice. Okay. Good first round. I mean, I'd say that was fairly even. Um, I think I maybe landed more of the shots, but uh, overall it was a very even round. We're still kind of feeling each other out a little bit, see what see what we want to do. I mean, it's pretty clear to me that he wants me to try to come get him. Thank you. He wants me to, to try to come get him so he can... And he, he he does look like he has some decent counters. Like he's you know he's using his his teeps as you guys can see right there. He's using his teeps very well. I see he's using slip straights, so he's not gonna let me just like jab him over and over again without him countering that. He's also using that front leg side kick to the leg and the oblique to the leg. Um.
So he's pretty he's pretty dangerous. He's you get a very very good shot selection overall. He's going body, then legs, then head. Check here. Mm, I was trying to fake that. Nice. Yeah. Like kick. Whiff. Sit down again. Dealing with Israel and his footwork is not an easy thing to do. He uh, he moves around the cage very well. Oh my God, that's definitely not what we want. So I guess there goes my leg kicks. The danger right here is he's working my lead leg as well. One thing I think he needs to start doing a little bit more is moving his head. Because these shots are starting to slowly bleed through. And I know I can tell that I'm doing quite a bit of head damage to him. And he, he's not going to be able to take too many of this against Anthony Johnson. You can't, if you're facing someone like Anthony Johnson, man, you can't. Oh, God damn it. You, just, you can't let these shots bleed through as much as it's bleeding through because it just whittles your head health down over and over again. Even these jabs I'm throwing, like he needs to start slip straight and we're doing that. Okay. That was his round. He was able to rock me twice with that leg kick. Well, leg kick check. So... He definitely won that round right there. It's okay. We'll get him. This right here is turning out to be... Uh, it's, it's looking like it's going to be a, a very good standalone fight. Which, those, those, those fights are very good. Those standalone fights where we get a really, really good one. Then we just make a video out of it. It was a typically very good. Oh, nice. Well timed. That was close. Falls off with a T. Like, I recognize the style he's using. Totally. <laughs> nice. There you go. There you go. Single strike high variance. Go to the body. Go to the legs. Go to the head. Yeah, I'm definitely going to showcase this man. Win or lose. I like the way he's... um. But this, is not, this is not good. This ain't good. This ain't good. This is not good at all. This is where it starts to go downhill, brother. Oh, come on, man. Don't start. Don't start just... There you go. Fight back. All right. He's, he's starting to get into this thing where he's just going to hold his left stick and do nothing. Come on, buddy. Careful. You fighting me back. That's what's going to slow me down, bro. Nice. He's going to go with the... That leg kick is checked.
Nice. <laughs> You're about to get hurt again, bro. Where are your teeps? Head kick. Mm-mm. Everybody get sit down. <laughs> Watch out for the flying knee. I know he's going to look for it. Okay. You know what I always say? Everybody goes back to their roots once the fight gets going. Once it starts to get tough, everybody goes back to what they know best. So, we're about to find out what his roots are very soon. Because, like I said, you know, he's trying his best to, to role-play Israel, which is always good. It's always good to try that out. It's fun to do. It, you know, Izzy has a very complicated style. It's not a, he's not touching gloves anymore. Izzy has a complicated style. It's yeah, his roots is uh, clinching. He's trying. He was trying to clinch me right there. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, good fight, man. It, it just it went downhill for him. It went downhill for him. He was doing a very good job at the start of the fight of fighting back. Of mm, okay, all right. He was uh he was doing a good job of of stopping me with with his own strikes. Like I enter the pocket. He throws leg kick and he goes body shot, he goes head shot. He was doing a very good job of doing that. And as as long as he fought back, as long as he gave me something in return, he was good. He was doing a very good job of, uh, of role playing Israel. Everything went downhill when he went southpaw. I believe he went southpaw to keep his legs safe. And then from in southpaw, all he was doing was just circling and holding, you know, and not really fighting back. So that's what gave me the opening to. Uh, to start bleeding through damage. So overall, um, I'd say very good showing, very good fight, really enjoyed it. We'll leave this one as a standalone fight. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go right ahead and leave a like, and I'll see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Peace out.